Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this uh, wingtip here, this portion here. The, um, one of my Patreon subscribers asked how to make wingtips. And this, this is just one way of doing it. There's many ways of doing it. This one that first came to my mind was like this. So um, let's go ahead and get started. But first, if you can, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, if you learn anything um, from this video, hit that like button as well. Even if you don't learn anything from the video, go ahead and hit the like button also. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. What I'm going to do first is just um, create a um, new design here. Oops. Oops, don't need that one either. That's the one I want. Yep, I make a lot of mistakes in Fusion also, so um, just keep that in mind when you're learning Fusion. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, Create a little wing. I'm going to create a sketch on this plane here. There's a line. And if you have trouble with fusion, always, um, you know, doing something to um, clear your mind, just walk away from it for a little bit. And a lot of times for me, when I just walk away from, a, um, from it for a little bit, um, the answer comes to me. So just keep that in your back of your mind when, if you get frustrated. Okay, we've got our um, profile here. And go ahead and finish sketch. And now I'm going to create another sketch. Or first I'm going to put a um, plane and angle in here. This here. Click OK. Then I'm going to create a sketch on this plane. And project a couple of points here. And the line also. This. And now click OK. Go back to the top view. And just adjust these how you want. Well, if you have a, um, a picture under it, you would just um, match it to the picture. And go ahead and finish sketch. Now we have our two profiles here. Now, if you went ahead and um, lofted these, let's see what we would get. Clear this out. And we clicked OK. Now you see, I turn the origin off here. As you see here, this is straight down here. It doesn't look very good. And we need this to come out more up here. Now, um, you can use a tangent and the loft, but I find it easier just to do um, what I'm going to show you here. Let me t um, go ahead and just. Remove this for now, or delete it, don't need it. And turn the sketches back on. Now I find it, um, it just much simpler to do this and turn my origin back on. And I'm going to use an offset plane. So construct, offset plane, this. And move this about here. Click OK. And now I'm going to create a sketch on this plane here. And I want to project these here. And we have our two points here. And then um, Use a fit point spline. And 
and we have our close profile. Now I'm going to sketch a line from here, here, and repeat that line from here to here. Then use a tangent, this line here, and this line here. Click OK. And I'm going to move this out just a little bit to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. OK, now we've got that. Go ahead and finish sketch. Now what I can do when we loft this, I clear this out. Select this profile, this profile here. Then I can add this rail here. Now, it says the rail does not intersect. OK. Right here. So when I projected that, it did not project it where I needed it to. So what I'm going to do, go back to the sketch. As we can see right there, it didn't project it onto here, which is no problem. What I'm going to do is just delete this. Now, fit point spline again. Snap it here. And it snaps here. Now this line here, I'm going to delete it. And do a line here down. Then I'm going to use that tangent again. And use tangent again here. And click OK, and that looks really good now. Yeah, but I like to move it around just a little bit. OK. <laughs> now I'll go ahead and finish sketch. Now, a lot of times with Fusion 2, it'll tell you what's wrong, like um, that point not being on there. So now we come back. And we're going to use loft again, zero this out, use this profile, this profile, and now click plus and use this as a rail, and click OK. Turn sketches off. And that's what that looks like now. And that looks really good. So. Turn on the origin again. And I'm going to mirror this. And again, this is just one way of um, making these um, wingtips. Now what we can do is let's see these two joined. Okay, yes, they are joined. Now we can use an extrude. Use a thin extrude. It's like this. And now you see, we have rest of the wing and the wing tip now. And that looks really good. Now we can give it some color. A for appearance. See what the blue looks like.
All right, that looks really good too. And again, this is just one way of making this tip over here. But to me, I find this way um, very simple doing this, this way. And I can control the shape of this tip a lot easier with the, um, by using that fit point spline and moving it around. Now using the tangents, you can get the results you want, but if you don't, then you have to put rails in it. So I find it's just easier just putting rails in it right off the bat and controlling it um, with the rails to get the shape you need. So yeah, but anyway, I just want to show you guys how to do this because it was a question from one of my Patreon um, subscribers, and um, this is how you do that. Okay, so that's going to do it for this short little video, um, um, little tips here. And um, if you're, again, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like my videos and you learn something, or even if you don't learn anything, just hit that like button, and it really helps my channel grow. And also invite you to join my Patreon and my Facebook group, both the Call Cad Bill Flyer C. Go over there and have a look at both of them. And um, nice people to help you over there if you have any questions or anything like that. Also, if you have any questions on anything on my channel, just go ahead and um, leave them down in the comments. And um, or again, leave the questions over on my site or send me an email. And yeah, so that's going to do it for this video. And I will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.